I am very short. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here today and for this amazing honor. The Washington Area's Women Foundation is such an important organization for women of color in this city, and I am so proud to be here with all of you today. As you may have noticed, I look a little different today than I did when I stood on the March and Mall. It's true. I've gained four inches. <laughs> no, no, seriously, do you like it? You, when you are an activist at 12, and it is one week before the most important election of certainly my lifetime, if not all of yours, well, it's frustrating. So I thought my shaved orange hair might motivate all of you. <laughs> motivate you to not only go out and vote, because I cannot, but to bring every single person you know with you. Truly tell everyone you know that if a 12-year-old girl can shave her head and dye it orange, the least you can do is go and vote. <laughs> you know how much bleach hurts your scalp, right? <laughs> Seriously, drag your friends, your neighbors, your enemies, your frenemies, and your great aunts out to vote. If you can't do it because it is so imp I can't read. If you can do it because it is so important, if you can't do it because it is so important, do it for the pile of curls sitting on the haircuttery floor. <laughs> so I think most of you know by now, I gave a speech in March and things went kind of viral. I guess I didn't quite understand that folks had been waiting too long for a then 11 year old to stand up and say what needed to be said. It is far past the time for the media, society, and for our country to stand for black girls, for women of color, and for everyone who doesn't have a choice. There has never been a more important time for women, for girls like me, to stand up and to be heard. Vicki Jones and Maurice Stallard were murdered in a Kroger's last week simply because they were black Americans. 11 people <laughs> were slaughtered this weekend because of their religious beliefs. Thousands of poor, desperate brown people are being vi vi villainized because of their desire for a better life. And these are, and these are the stories on, on the front pages. A child was murdered in a school yesterday in North Carolina, and classes continued. A 14-year-old girl was tased and beaten by several police officers in Florida last week. If you don't stand in your power today, if you do not raise your voices in protest to the voting booth next week, then when will you? Please know I appreciate every single person who is here today, but by being here, I am not doing anything. Well, I'm missing math, and let me tell you, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> but honestly, it is, it is not a hardship for me to be here today. My being here today, you all might be in missing some work obligations, but it is no hardship for you either. If we listen and hear great words, it is simply not enough. We, each and every one of us, must leave here inspired to do some work. Not just support the work done by the Women's Foundation, but to do our own work. To find and use our voice, our superpower, to be the change we want to see. I'm going to tell you what I'm currently doing, I think most of you have heard of Safe Shores, the Child Advocacy Center here in DC. And the work they do to take care of the youngest victims of violence in our, in our city. Well, I have partnered with them to sell a t-shirt, yep, kind is the new cool, is our slogan. And 100% of the proceeds go to, the, the, go, to, go to support the work that they do. You can buy one at www.naomimagic.com. I hate the name of that website. It seems a bit pretentious. I blame my mother. <laughs> anyway, buy a shirt, spread some kindness, support, and support Safe Shores. I know the Women Foundation does, and you should too. But that is just me. I'm going to continue to advocate for young girls of color to be there and to stand in their power. I'm here. 
I'm going to continue to rock the orange for some smart gun control and ref gun reform in this t country. But what about you? How are you going to leave here today with an action plan? Because young women have always been on the very forefront of every important movement in our history. Harriet Tubman was 27 when she escaped slavery. Claudette Colvin was 17 when she was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on a bus nine months before Rosa Parks. And Ruby Bridges was six years old when she bravely faced down racism every day just to, get, just to have a right to education. And today, I stand with Edna Chavez in South Central, Eva Maria Lewis in the South Side of Chicago, Marley Diaz in New Jersey, Mary Kopenny in Flint, Michigan, Blair Amani in New York, and Bria Smith in Milwaukee, to be on, on to be on the forefront of the movement, to have a diverse group of color <laughs> of colorful women <laughs> making a difference in this world, and I know I'm in a room of folks who are also making a difference, and I would like to encourage you to bring girls like me along with you. Listen. I am no better than you, and you are no better than me. With respect for ourselves and for each other, we can show the world the force of our black girl power, our magic to make great societal change. We must embrace our unique view and make it sure everyone hears our voices, regardless of our backgrounds, regardless of every societal factor that conspires to hold us down, hold us down and silence us. I ask each of you today to join me in bringing change to the girls of color here and everywhere. We need your help to make this a reality across the city and across the country. Thank you. Now go out and vote, please. Naomi go just yet because we have to tell you something about her again so Naomi this is a bit of breaking news here uh, let me see if I can pull up this picture Naomi along with some other fearless girls was just named glamour's women of the year We also can't let Naomi go without presenting a token of our appreciation because we admire you being here. Thank you. We admire your bravery. We admire your passion. We admire your leadership. We admire you for sharing the stories of the untold, of honoring women and girls, of saying their names, and now we want to honor you. So hold on one second. We have this beautiful award for you. It says the Washington Area Women's Foundation extends its heartfelt appreciation to Naomi Wadler and talks about your bravery, your passion, and your leadership. So you are what we have been waiting for. And we are so proud of you.